Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. We're living in some seriously puzzling times. It's almost unbelievable to wrap your head around the fact that there's a full-on war being waged against food, something that's absolutely essential for life. But here we are, right on the edge of what seems like a huge agenda against keeping the world fed. So, what's with this new hostility towards the very thing that keeps us going day in and day out? Let's take a moment to take a deep breath. Turns out, when it comes to farming, nitrogen is the new bad guy in the story of global warming. The idea is pretty straightforward. Get rid of nitrogen, save the earth. But here's the kicker, in the name of saving the environment, big parts of our food production are getting hit hard. Think about rice, a food that's a staple for half of the world's people. Big organizations are saying, rice is responsible for about 10% of the methane emissions worldwide, and they're really pushing to cut down its production. But what's the catch? Billions of people could end up starving. If you want more proof, just look at the Netherlands. Dutch farmers, who are a major force in a country that's a top player in exporting meat and other farm products, are getting pushed off their land. It's crazy, they're saying, that around 3,000 farms might get taken away in the next few years. And the result? Tragedy. Reportedly, 20 to 30 farmers are taking their own lives every year. It's a real mess. Our pals over in Europe are dealing with some head-scratching choices too. The European Commission gave the thumbs up to a plan to pay livestock farmers for stopping their operations in specific regions, but with a catch that they can never start up their animal breeding again. The results are crystal clear. Less food available worldwide, and prices shooting through the roof. Remember when Sri Lanka took a shot at 100% organic farming? Well, that didn't go too well. The place ended up in a huge mess, with a whopping 90% of the population teetering on the edge of starvation. And what about the take of Western leaders on farming? Eric Utter really nails it in the American thinker when he says, the way Western leaders are going after farming is downright reckless. It's like they're committing a crime. It's even more baffling when these ideas ignore the plain and simple truth that, while farming might be responsible for 33% of the Earth's greenhouse gas emissions, it's also what keeps every single person on this world alive. Groups like the World Economic Forum are all about this idea of a farm-free future, where they dream up a world where food is whipped up in clean labs and people are crammed into crowded cities. Add digital money to this nightmarish mix, and you've got the ultimate recipe for total control. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. In our modern times, the recipe is as clear as day stir up a crisis, even when there wasn't one to start with. Stoke racial tension, even among kids. Turn back the clock on women's progress that took decades to achieve. Make shortages worse, and mess with the money flow. Handle borders without much thought. Bash certain foods, shut down farms, or even kick off wars to cause hunger. Silence opposing voices by slapping the misinformation label on the truth. It's a move that's like a page from the Cloward and Piven playbook. Create a big problem, then bring out the big guns to fix that very problem. Our world's food supply is hanging by a thread now, all because of exaggerated reactions to this whole nitrogen thing. But why the lack of care? Just look at Sri Lanka as a warning sign of how wrong this approach can go. 
You know, the honest truth is, that Nitrogen isn't just some minor player in the game of plant life, it's a total game changer. Back in the not-so-distant past, before we had those commercial nitrogen fertilizers, hunger wasn't just a concept, it was a stark and devastating reality in so many corners of our world. I mean, let that sink in for a moment. Without these fertilizers, we're essentially opening the door and inviting famine right back into our lives. It's a pretty sobering thought. Now, you might have heard about these hip-sounding ideas like rewilding and the whole organic farming movement. And don't get me wrong, they might sound like the latest and greatest, but let's be honest here, they're not going to do much to satisfy the gnawing hunger on a global scale. It's like trying to fix a leaky dam with a band-aid. Nice try, but it's not going to hold up when the water really starts flowing. But here's the kicker, this whole deal isn't just about saving the environment and combating climate change. No, there's something deeper at play here. It's like someone's trying to pull off a slick maneuver to take control of the situation. It's almost like they're using environmental concerns as a smokescreen to push their own agenda. You know, there's a quote from Ayn Rand that hits the nail on the head. We can try to pretend reality isn't there, but we can't pretend away the consequences that come from ignoring it. And boy, is that ever true. We're standing at a pivotal moment in history, a moment where the choices we make will ripple through time. So, here's the deal. It's time to lift the curtain on these hidden agendas. It's time to step up and defend what's on our plates, because when it all boils down to survival, there's absolutely no room for compromise. It's time to take a stand and make sure our voices are heard loud and clear. After all, the world might be big, but it's our home, and we've got a responsibility to protect it and ourselves. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.